Hello, Eastside Youth. Sorry, your uh, midweek encouragement and check-in video is more like an end-of-week encouragement and check-in video this week. Um, we've been busy getting ready for the Christmas party on Sunday. We're super excited for that and hoping you guys are getting excited as well. Um, and it's you know it's a great it's a great opportunity um, to invite people in and uh, share. The, the joy of Christmas and, and spend time together. We're going to have a good night, Sunday night. Um, excited for it. We've got lots of stuff for you guys. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, this last Sunday, we finished our uh, Jesus is Greater study in the book of Hebrews. And we're still going to be going through uh, the Hall of Faith here on our midweek stuff in Hebrews 11. Um, and so we'll get to that in just a second. Um, but yeah. We, we finished out the Jesus is greater and, and finished by saying that one of the reasons that Jesus is greater is that when we put our faith in Jesus, that it doesn't stop there. Like his work and God's work and the Holy Spirit's work in our life, <clears throat> like in many ways, it, it begins at that point. Uh, but it doesn't stop just because we have professed faith in Christ. In fact, as we go throughout our life and we live our life growing in Jesus, it should increase um, those interactions and that going deeper with God. And, and that is something that is characteristic um, of Jesus in a relationship with God as compared to uh, maybe the way that the, the previous system and the previous way that people tried to be made right before God um, was able to allow them to draw near to God. So uh, we finished that and we will be uh, in the new year We'll be beginning a new series on the miracles of Jesus where we're getting really excited for that. And I hope you guys um, come with your questions about miracles and those type things. Um, we're going to be going through that together. And um, we'll be going through the book of John as kind of a, a way to guide us through the miracles of Jesus. But for today, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Isaac. And the verse for today is very, sh it's very short. So usually we have um, a few verses. Today is just one. It's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 20. It says, by faith, Isaac invoked future blessings on Jacob and Esau. And so that is, that is the mention that Isaac gets in the hall of faith because the next verse goes on to talk about Jacob um, and how he had faith. And so um, what's really interesting about this is, remember from last week, we talked about Isaac was the son that Abraham took up to the top of the mountain, was going to sacrifice him before God said, whoa, 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 no, -uh. hey, like, no. And he saved Isaac from that. Um, that's the same Isaac. And now Isaac has grown up. The blessing has passed to him. And, and this is, again, we have to remember, this is the first generation of the blessing having been passed. So Abraham received this, this blessing directly from God himself. And now, you know, Isaac was passed that blessing by his father, Abraham, and God showed up and like confirmed it to him. But now we have this moment of does Isaac, what does Isaac do? Does he take that blessing and say, well, no, my father passes to me. Or does he get the big picture that God is going to do something? And does he pass it on to his son's, and, and the author of Hebrews in the book of Genesis tells us that that is what Isaac does. He, he doesn't count this blessing as something that's just for him from Abraham, that it is for his descendants down the line. And so he blesses his sons. And it's really interesting that, that Hebrews 11 says that he gives this blessing to Jacob and Esau. Um, I'm going to read for you the, the blessings that he gives each of his son and sons, and you'll notice a difference here. So, um, to in Genesis, this is Genesis chapter 27. Um, the blessing to Jacob, remember, Jacob uh, deceived Isaac in order to get this blessing. Um, he says, May God give you the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you and blessed be everyone who blesses you. So this idea, um, especially that ending, everyone who curses you will be cursed and everyone who blesses you will be blessed. That's a pretty good blessing. Like, um, in other words, if, if somebody sets themselves against you as enemies, they are, they're going to heap something that is not good upon themselves. And so that is the blessing that Isaac gives to Jacob, um, his second born son. And then 
what's interesting is the book of Hebrews says that Isaac also in faith blessed Esau. And so when we get down to a few, a few verses to what Isaac says to Esau, he says, behold, away from the fatness of the earth shall your dwelling be and away from the dew of heaven on high your sword by your sword shall you live and you shall serve your brother. And when you grow restless, you shall break his yoke from your neck. And so most of that does not seem at all like a blessing. And it's not, it's like you're going to live away from where it's easy, where the fatness of the earth is and the dew of heaven is. It's, you're going to have a harder time of it than your brother. Um, you're going to live by the sword. Nobody wants to live by the sword. Living by the sword means you have to fight to stay alive all your days. Not good. Um, but then at the end, there is this bit of hope. But when you grow restless, you will break the yoke from your neck. And so this idea that, you know, even though Isaac had given the blessing to Jacob, he had given the bulk of it and he can't give the same one to Esau because a lot of that blessing was your brother's going to serve you. But what he does say is, okay, but yes, your brother's going to serve you, but one, it's not going to be forever. And one day that, that yoke that you have from your brother, you're going to break away from it. And there's this idea that the blessing looked different for these two brothers. And I would argue one was a better blessing than the other. And we understand that, that this line of blessing goes through Jacob down throughout the, the course of Israel's history. But we can't forget that at the end of what Jacob or, or uh, Isaac says to Esau, he says, you're not going to live subject forever. Um, and so it's this idea that in faith, Isaac gave a blessing to both his sons and it looked very different. And he trusted that, one, he couldn't give the same blessing to Esau because he trusted in God enough to say, no, like, I believe that this will pass to you now that I've given this to Jacob, so I can't give the same thing to Esau. That shows that he believes in that blessing, that it will be passed. If he didn't, he'd say, well, I'll just give you the same one. It'll all work out. That's not what he does. And likewise, he doesn't say, well, I I'm just going to give Esau nothing, no hope. He does pass a bit of hope onto Esau by saying, one day you will break away from that, that uh, servanthood and that, that yoke that, that you have upon you. Um, and so by faith, Isaac invokes future blessing on his sons. Um, and he did not count the blessing that he received from Abraham, his dad, and God as something that was just his. He passed it on, and, and, and in doing so, he set a standard of... This blessing will pass to the next generation because that was God's original plan to bless all the peoples of the earth through these people. Um, and so even though we get one verse in the book of Hebrews about Isaac and, and his faith, um, when we jump back to Genesis and look at that story, we see a faith that one uh, takes it seriously, it takes the things of God seriously to the point where you know, he says the things he says to his sons and he doesn't go back on them. And two, um, it doesn't hold on to it. He sees the big picture and he sees what is to come as a way of going, no, I need to pass this on. And so um, that is Isaac. Again, he had faith and that faith caused him to do something in response. And that's kind of what we're looking at in this Hall of Faith series. So I hope you guys are doing well. Next week is Christmas. It is but a week away. Um, the Christmas party is Sunday. We're getting, we're getting hyped for that. So, uh, yeah, we will see you guys this weekend. We love you guys. Um, and have a wonderful Christmas break from school. You've earned it. You deserve it. Uh, rest up, energize yourselves. Um, take a good break from school, uh, starting this evening. So love you guys and we'll see you soon. Bye.